So remember the uh, place outside I showed you on the southeastern corner of the house, like this empty space where I put out a table. So in case you did not guess yet what I'm going to put out there, I will now show you something really, really nice that we just got in the mail yesterday. And today we're going to use it for the first time. Ta-da! So for those who didn't guess, it is a solar oven. We ordered this Sun Taste size large uh, sun oven. I think they are made in, or at least designed in Portugal. And uh, this is the only solar oven you can actually buy now in Israel. And uh, we were so lucky that one a really nice guy from southern Israel started importing these and selling these um, uh, solar ovens. And the reason I'm so happy that this, someone started importing these is uh, it is really hard to order things from abroad into Israel or it's easy to order if it's under $70 uh, or $75, it depends a bit, but if, you, if it's over $70 of value uh, you have to pay, pay huge amounts of, uh, for, first of all, you have to pay shipping fees, uh, but then you have um, all kinds of taxes and customs, so it becomes just so hard and so ridiculously expensive, it's not worth, worth the money. So, um, as I said, uh, up until now, no one actually uh, sold solar ovens in Israel, and I actually contacted the, this one the Sun Taste company in uh, in Europe and ask them about different shipping options um, to to Israel, uh, and then they notified me that there is someone who has actually just started to import these. So I was very very happy, uh, and I said we get sun most of the year uh, and quite a lot of sun, particularly as we live here in the semi-arid desert area um, where it's mostly most of the time even in the in the winter we get quite a lot of sun um, now we're looking forward to looking forward to a um, heat wave coming starting uh, next Shabbat where we will have over 40 degrees Celsius for most of the week so I'm sure I can do quite a lot of cooking with the solar oven but now we first have to get acquainted with the solar oven I have to clean it I have to um, uh, prep it outside on the table, put a nice tablecloth on the table and put the solar oven up there and uh, my daughter is just cutting up some veg vegetables. We thought we would start with some roasted vegetables. I don't still have all the kind of proper cooking uh, vessels or utensils uh, the, to use in the solar oven because we have quite a lot of stainless steel which is of course very, uh, it reflects the sunlight and that's not good and then we have in addition, we had a we have a lot of cast iron, which is if is of course dark and good in the sense that it it will absorb the heat, but then it's so thick it will take quite a long time for it to heat up. So I will try to get some new cooking uh, vessels, some kind of pots and pans, from um, something uh, like uh, with enamel on it, so it can be like some kind of thin metal and then the enamel on top of it. Uh, maybe in a dark color so I think I saw something um, I think suitable at IKEA so I might need to do a, a trip to IKEA which is always fun so this is the oven it's straight out of the package I haven't done anything to it or cleaned it I had to turn out on the lights so you could see a bit better so this is the larger version there is a smaller compact version but this can hold like two pots uh, uh, next to each other so for a, a family of our size we definitely <laughs> need more than one pot so um, the material is really cool this is what I love about it the outer material is cork so the so a renewable material and very well insulating really nice it's like really soft to touch so very nice a material and uh, here is the, uh, here you can open the reflector like this. So now I had to turn off the lights again so you can see actually inside the box. So pretty standard 
uh, design, you know, a reflecting materials inside. Here you have the reflector that you can then uh, position towards the sun in such a uh, ways that uh, it gets the maximum amount of sun uh, inside. But yeah, the opening is actually on this other side. So you don't open this uh, glass here at all, but you actually open it from this other side. Here, you can use it with only one hand. You open this, uh, you have to open first these uh, uh, kind of holders or security things here, just like, like this. And then here you have the inside. You can take all of this out. So I haven't done anything with it. I still need to remove the protective film. You can see there's this uh, protecting film here and then of course wipe it clean and put it outside to heat for a bit and then we can put in our vegetables for roasting. So here it is preheating outside and we have roasted like vegetables that we want to roast. Um, you're probably wondering why I need the puppy gate uh, around this. Uh, this is just like I don't know, I feel better having it there because I know that this cork material is something that dogs would probably want to chew on and if they would smell the food inside, uh, I would hate for them to somehow uh, get close to the oven and start chewing on its corners, so that is the only reason we have this fence material around it. I'm still not quite sure if we'll keep it outside permanently and of course covered um, when we're not using it. So here we are break baking bread in the sun oven. We actually moved the sun oven to a different location where it originally was because we realized that uh, those trees way back there were blocking the sun really efficiently in the early morning hours. So. We moved it to this location where there's absolutely no shade whatsoever at any point of the day. So soon the bread will be ready. We have been having this horrible heat wave here for almost two weeks in a row now. But one of the good things about the heat wave is that we have been cooking outside with our new solar oven. So now this is the first time that we have really been cooking or baking meat or making meat in, in the oven. So some uh, chicken and vegetables. We have made rice already and bread and different kinds of vegetables and they have turned out really well. Of course you have to uh, but uh, make sure you have enough time to cook and then also remember to turn the oven so that it's getting the maximum amount of sun all the time. Probably should have taken the video before we start eating uh, but here you can see the and uh, it's really moist and looks really good the food from the solar oven but unfortunately because we don't have anything suitable with lids so we have to use these kind of plastic up bags or whatever uh, so that's not that's not nice I don't like plastic so hopefully we can get some uh, proper cooking vessels or pots for the solar oven soon so we have now been using the solar oven for a few weeks and we used it uh, I think every other other day roughly uh, depending also if uh, if I had time to prep something early enough to put in the oven or not and it, ha it has worked out really well we have made like I said bread uh, we have made shakshuka some other like egg omelets egg muffins kind of things uh, salmon uh, rice chicken all that kind of stuff but hopefully when we get the new cooking pots uh, that are more suitable that I can make maybe stews and soups and things like that in the oven, I will keep you updated. It is a learning process, of course. It's a different kind of cooking. It takes a lot more time uh, to cook. But then on the other hand, you don't have to be there next to the stove and like worrying that it will burn or anything. You just need enough sun and enough time. But I wanted to go over with you the, like the reasons why we wanted to buy the solar oven in the first place. Um, it's not that we will save that much money uh, by cooking with the solar oven. It's more so we like to be prepared. Our goal uh, in general in life and what we're trying to do here is we would want to be as self-sufficient as possible. 
we would want to be in a situation where we're not depending on on the gas company for cooking gas or that we're not um, we don't need the supermarket to get food that we can kind of survive on our own if that makes sense uh, you could call it sort of prepping um, and it's not uh, prepping out of fear it's prepping out of uh, wisdom it's uh, wise to be prepared for all kinds of different situations and I think that's also something that year 2020 has definitely taught us is we do not know what is going to happen next and um, there can be all kinds of surprising situations uh, but I think it's always wise to be prepared it's always wise to be in a situation where you have options like if you don't have cooking gas you don't have electricity you can still cook you can still heat your food you can uh, boil water uh, in in the solar oven for example so um, that is the reason we wanted to get the solar oven so we also have the Berkey water filter uh, that's for similar uh, reasons uh, besides of course using it now to filter our tap water tap water in Israel is totally drinkable and okay but it does have like you know things that we prefer filtering out and then the Berkey will give us the opportunity to be able to use really kind of dirtier water that we don't know where it's coming from and filter it through the Berkey and then possibly also heating it uh, in the solar oven in a case of emergency. So uh, that is the reason for the solar cooker and yeah we're really hoping forward to learning much more about the cooker and how to use it more efficiently um, and uh, of course also during the winter months so we'll have to see how well it, it performs during the winter months uh, now it's of course easy we have lots of sun it's really hot outside but it will be interesting to see like now fall is starting and then in the winter um, how it will work out but so far we have been really happy and I think we will be happier when we get the suitable pots and pans to use in the oven but I will now go and put some chicken in the solar oven and um, that will be ready just nicely before a Shabbat dinner. So I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and a happy and nice and relaxed